This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Do this. In addition to numbers, lists can store strings. Strings are words or sentences or characters, right? Read the starter code from the list trees and run the program. All right, what do we got? So first it should print trees down here to the council. And then we should have this list of trees, oak, maple, dogwood. Council log trees. So then it says, oh, okay, I'm going to print out what? Or I'm going to log to the council what? Trees. What's trees? Oh, these. And then a break. All right, let's see. Yep. And then we have all, if you want to see them individual, they even do that, which is kind of cool. Because this is index zero is oak, remember? Because we start at zero for indexes. All right. Favorite songs. Create your own list with three of your favorite songs. Ugh. Use council log dot print. Okay. My favorite songs? Mm. No, I should reset so it goes away. All right. So my own list. I'm just going to call it songs. Whoops. Songs, songs, songs. Well, I'll say imagine John Lennon, of course. And then let's do, <laughs> let's do Mbop because I'm funny. And then, hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, sure, we'll do Uptown Funk. Boom. All right, there we go. We got three songs. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit run, and nothing's going to print because all we've asked it to do is print the title up here, right? So now I need to do console log. Well, print my favorite songs. It's not really the title. Console log. And to make it print all of these, make sure you get rid of your quotes. Boom. Also notice the difference. For words or for strings, we put quotes around them. The numbers, we did not. All right. I named my list songs, and now it will log to the council songs. Let's see. Boom. Awesome. Onward.